All right guys, so I'm pretty excited about this review. We're doing something a little bit different. I had this idea pop in my head where I was like, wow, why does Gray Man Tactical Gear have to be so freaking expensive? You know, like $145 for a freaking pair of jeans just because they have a few extra pockets and a handcuff keys, like little compartment thing. I mean, why? That just sounds insane. So I got the idea, I thought, well, I wonder if I can put together an entire tactical gray man style outfit that's fashionable, the type of clothes that I wear usually. It's gonna fit in the urban areas and it's also gonna fit in the wilderness and it's not gonna destroy my budget. So with that in mind, I found LA Police Gear brand. I didn't realize they had their own branded like apparel. So we hooked up and they sent me all this stuff to review. I got a flannel, I got a uh, base layer, I got some tactical jeans, right, you know, with all the cool guy pockets. And I also have a soft shell jacket. So we're going to have a look at all this. And during the process, for each item, I'm going to put the price up there. And we're going to keep a running tally of how much all this costs. And I think by the time the video is over, you guys are going to be quite surprised at what you can really put together on the cheap without destroying your budget. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so I guess we get started by looking at the most expensive item on our list. This is the recon jacket, courtesy of LA Police Gear. Once again, big shout out to those guys and thank you for sending me all this cool stuff to review. So that being said, what do we got here? We got a soft shell jacket with a ooh, nice soft fleece lining on the inside. And as you may expect from a tactical jacket of this nature, we have a zippered pocket here, also a zippered pocket here. You'll notice that these are all YKK. Good quality zipper pulls going on right there. I love these attentions to detail that I see, and I always like to point it out. Now, over here to the sleeve, we got a zippered pocket right there, and also a place for your favorite morale patch. So, that's about it, right? Sleeve, zippered pocket, zippered pocket, zippered pocket. Now, the other sleeve, no zippered pockets, just a plain old sleeve. Now, when we look further down the jacket, as you may expect, there are also two zippered pockets, one here and also one here. One more thing I wanna look at here, guys, before we open this up and look on the inside, you'll notice that this hood has kind of an extended visor, right? So it's gonna provide you a lot of coverage from the wind and the rain and just the elements in general, which I found out when I tested this at the beach. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and have a look on the inside. Once again, guys, you're gonna notice this fleece lining all over the place, right? Pretty much for the entire interior of the jacket is fleece lined, including that hood that we're talking about. But what I really wanna show you guys is the fact that, okay, first of all, on this inside piece, there's not much going on, right? There's nothing on this inside section right here. But on the left side, we have a nice big deep pocket here, but even cooler than that, and this is a pattern I've seen LA Police Gear do before, and you'll see the same thing in the different, um, in the next thing I show you, which is the flannel, but this hidden compartment, tiny little zipper, unzips, and you would think it might get caught, but it doesn't. And look at that, you got a ton of empty space in there, right, for whatever you wanna store in that area. So, hidden pocket there on the inside, I didn't even notice that until like the second or third time I actually wore the jacket. So, thought that was a nice touch. And then overall, guys, coming in at $59 and what, 99 cents? Not a bad deal. Now, I will say that this jacket, and I wanna make this very clear, is not waterproof. It is not waterproof, it is water resistant. So I took it out to the beach and it was windy, I had a lot of rain, and it basically stood up for about 10 minutes before the rain started to actually come through the jacket. But I was solid and good to go for about 10 minutes, fully exposed to the wind and the rain with just the jacket on. So overall, in my humble opinion, a really good deal for 60 bucks. You get your little Velcro patch panel there, you get some good zipper pockets, you get quality YKK zippers and pulls. Check that out, I just know it's a logo there, that's a nice little touch. And overall, just a solid jacket, 
and a good price in my humble opinion. So let's go ahead and move on to what's next. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at those jeans. All right, so the jeans guys coming in at $39 and some change. They are tactical jeans in the sense that they do have a little bit of spandex in them, makes them stretchy and flexible and they also wear well and they don't, um, they're, they're, they're not gonna retain moisture as much as your traditional pair of denim jeans. So let's go ahead and start looking at the front here. You're gonna see that there is this deep coin pocket. Well, it's not really a coin pocket. It's, it's a coin pocket on steroids. So you got that right here. Then you have a deep main primary pocket up front and you'll notice this edge, right? That's nice, little angle right there. Makes it really easy to slide the hand in and get to what you want. So just that little attention to detail, I thought was super nice. Then belt loops, big, tall, and wide. Also over stitched right there. And these are gonna be a perfect fit for any of your tactical belts that you may choose. One ply, two ply, even three ply. Would probably fit here. I've only gotten two ply. And so that's what I've worked with. So my belts are two ply in thickness. No problem fitting through that. Then got a nice little button on the front once again. Logo, a little bit of branding going on there. Now let's look at the other side. And over here, you're gonna see the same thing. There's a big, deep pocket, and then also a nice, big, deep pocket. And this one goes like way down. I think it goes down to about right there. Now one thing I wanna point out here, guys, is the attention to detail. You see how there's more fabric? There's like doubled up, they've doubled up on the fabric that's sewn in here. Why is that? Because when you slide in, let's say your favorite pocket knife or what have you, it's going to fit and um, stick in here a lot better than if it was just a single bit of fabric. This clip might slip off, what have you. So just a little attention to detail, really nice. And also want to point out extra stitching right here on the side. And then you're going to also see the same thing right about here in this pocket area. And then also the crotch, you don't want your pants blowing out on you, right? And this whole area right here is definitely overbuilt and flexible and stretchy. And one thing to mention, guys, is these are not skinny jeans. They are straight cut, boot cut jeans. So there's lots of room and space for movement and what have you. So flipping over to the back, you're going to see more branding. Nice touch, right? I mean, they have really, I mean, for $39, they have really gone above and beyond what you would typically expect from a you know a pair of pants of like 40 bucks so we got that right there also more branding there and really what do we got big deep pocket big deep pocket but also following the pattern that we see a lot in tactical jeans got this hidden pocket right here and then also the same thing on this side and then finally this big belt loop in the middle has a little compartment for a handcuff key. Nice touch. So overall, you get a total of eight pockets, nine pockets if you count this little compartment for a handcuff key or maybe, I don't know, would there be something else you would fit in here? Who knows? So the first thing I wanna point out about this flannel is the snap button. So you can easily tear this open and get access to your favorite concealed weapon in a hurry. So that's how they made that. Nice and easy access to whatever you might need hidden underneath the shirt. Now, on the front here, all we got are two pockets, right? They're both snaps, but there is some special functionality built into these pockets. There's actually four pockets here. So let's look at that. We got Velcro securing this slip pocket behind here, which is a nice touch. And it just opens up like that. And you have access to whatever you need to get access to in here. And whatever you think is gonna fit in here and having the Velcro is gonna secure it pretty well. So maybe a pen and a notepad, who knows, right? Whatever. Then over to this side, there is also a hidden pocket here and they did the same thing that I showed you guys on the jacket with that tiny little zipper. You see that? See that zipper pull? So when you unzip this, like so, you have a handy little hidden pocket, look at that. Nice, right? And then when you're done, zip it back up and this is arguably more secure and more concealed than something you would slip behind here. So there's not much else to, to mention about this shirt except the fact that I found these sleeves very easy to roll and then they stayed up very well. So I thought that was nice because you know, sometimes you gotta roll up your sleeves and get shit done. So 
What else to say about the shirt? That's about it. There are different flavors and varieties and patterns of this shirt. I chose the red and gray with that little blue stripe right there. It's a nice match to the blue jeans. So, what else we gotta look at? Man, we're moving on through here. Oh yeah, the thermal base layer. Let's have a look at that. The last item on the list and the cheapest, coming in at $14.99. This is their quarter zip top. It is constructed of the majority, overwhelming majority, polyester and about 4% or 5% spandex, can't remember exactly, but you know, it has that whole moisture wicking technology type of thing going on. So this is great to wear to the gym, which I've been doing that a lot, or underneath the flannel. Either way, comes in at a good price and for a thermal base layer, not bad, right? And you know, obviously wintertime, you're gonna wanna have layers that you can easily take off. And especially like with a shirt like this, this is great to wear around camp, especially if you're trying to get a little bit of work done and it's gonna be breathable and you're not gonna build up a you know sweat and then get all cold. So that's it guys. Let's go ahead and run the numbers and see how much all this costs. So yeah, we get jeans, flannel, thermal base layer, and we also get a jacket for the same cost or right about as a pair of tactical pants from Triple Aught Design. So the, you know, like what am I gonna do here? Am I gonna get all this or am I gonna get the jeans? I don't know. To me, the choice is pretty obvious. I work hard for my money, and I like to get the most bang for my buck. And of course, I gotta look good, right? The end of the world could be tomorrow, could be a couple years out, who knows? I mean, everything's kind of really crazy. So, you know, I definitely wanna look good, and I definitely wanna have my uh, tactical functionality on point. So, that being said, guys, let me know down there in the comments what you think of the LA Police Gear brand. Maybe you have some experience with it so far. I've been wearing the crap out of these clothes in different environments and they are good to go. So any re links relevant to this are down there in the pin post. And also guys, real quick, I'm also on Gab where I post a lot of different content than what I usually put up here on YouTube. So make sure you check the links for that. Or you can just go to Gab and look for the Survival Outpost. All right, what else do I have to say? Nothing. I think that's it. Great. Cool. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you down there in the comments. Thanks for the support. Hey, you still there? Cool. Then don't forget to check out our website located on the interwebs at thesurvivaloutpost.com. We are designed and optimized for hard use, for the self-reliant who talk less and hustle more. Thanks to our international connections, you get first access to unique and innovative products from around the world. This is the gear that will give you that edge you need in a survival situation or if you're just trying to keep the lights on when the power goes out. Any content mentioned in this video is linked up down there in the pin post and be sure to watch the suggested videos for more real world survival training and knowledge.